So, how's everybody doing? Having a good week so far? Um, okay, so tonight we're going to try something different. It's uh, an experiment that we're doing together. Um, Mariette had sent me a message last week to go watch a YouTube video that a wonderful artist, I had done um, an MDF moon way back uh it's now my granddaughter she loved it so i gave it to her and but i did it on mdf boards and a wonderful resin artist sue i'm sure you've all heard of her and seen her work sue finley did a kind of a free-formed one and i thought i'm going to give that a try so that's what we're going to try tonight um and i'll explain it to you as we go but the colors i'm using because there's two different molds are glitter gold Artie Sue's glitter gold and Artie Sue's sparkly yellow is for one and for the other one I am using Artie Sue's silver and Artie Sue's sky blue and this is what we're going to be doing see these they're foam and I cut them out through the shape on the foam. And I'd say it's about two inches. Yeah, two inches. And I cut the, sh or drew the shape out on the foam. And then foam, and then I cut them out. And now I have laid down um, just a clear garbage bag and I will pour the resin in that and we will I will try to move it around and hopefully get the perfect shape and what I'm doing today is just the first layer uh, to make sure that I can can do this so this is exactly what we're going to do I have cut out a dolphin shape and a star so wish me luck, guys, because this is what we're working on today. What I'd like to do is put an eye down for the one side of the dolphin's head so that it will show up on the one side. And what I'm using for the eyes is just a clear plastic gem. So I'm going to hope that it stays there. So now I'm just going to pour a bit of my gray, my silver, and a bit of the blue. What I'll do as I blend them together is see if I can get the plastic to stay in place from the weight of the resin. Okay, okay so far so good guys. Definitely needs more resin to weigh it down, but make sure my eye's in the right place. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. <laughs> this dolphin may have funky eyes. Okay, so now pour a bit more of the gray. I want to just mix these two colors, have them blend together, because dolphins are silvery gray with a bit of a blue tinge, at least any of the ones I've seen. So that is what I'm doing here. And see, I'll just keep pushing the plastic down as the resin starts to settle and hold it down in the spots I 
want it to go. Like his fins, his tail, and his face. Because everything else seems to be just fine. Okay. So now the last of the blue. What I'll do later too is what I'll keep. This is a piece that you're going to have to watch the first layer anyway. Once it's once it's set, when you do continuous layers, you shouldn't have an, an issue with any of this. So, I will come down in a little bit and just make sure that it's setting up fine. She made it look a lot easier than this. But like I said, I will come back after. And maybe I picked too small of a design. But I don't ever do anything the easy way. Actually, that's what I might do. Is just sit these in here for now. Till the resin forms around them. And then I can pull the sticks out before it completely set. There we go. Okay, so let's move on to the star. Hopefully it will be a little easier. And what I'm going to do with it is the same kind of thing. Mix my gold and my yellow. And I'm going to lay some crystals down, plastic crystals, but I'm going to lay them down upside down on this layer so that you can see them right side up on the other side of this form. So that's what we're doing putting them in upside down, but they'll look right side up. Whoops. This little thing Lorraine gave me, it's so cool. It picks up gems. These, sorry. Picks up gems. Go. Got some little itty bitty ones here. Another big one. I can put over here. Oh, yes, sent that one fine. There we go. Okay, so oh, I need one in there. Let's try. Great big one. There we go. Okay, so let's start with some yellow. yellow in there. Same thing. I will put these in the tips. Let's see if it holds down. All the resin forms in it. And now I'll pour the gold that maybe I should have made more, but for the first layer, this is a live and learn, right? Now 
and we're learning together. But Sue definitely makes it look a lot easier than this. But uh, the moon shape was bigger, so maybe I should have started with something bigger and then ventured to the smaller ones. But you know what? Hey. We are learning. Oops. <laughs> okay, are you going to stay there for me? Yeah? Good for now? Like I said, I will come down later and uh, check on them. And tomorrow, I will do the next layer with more stones and see how all that works out. So... camera is is here and hopefully we just need to get the adapter to put it on so hopefully I won't have these issues anymore and have to move it back and forth and and all that so we will see anyway guys so this is free form sort of molds done with the styrofoam um, this is my first layer first time I've ever done this is with you right now so we will see how this works out and we'll do the second layer if this works out tomorrow so you guys have yourself a wonderful wonderful evening um, thanks for all your support by the way in everything putting up with these crazy little videos I hope you do learn some stuff along with me um, this is interesting and fun this is kind of fun I do suggest if you guys try this at home do something a bit bigger like a moon something with less lines <laughs> but I just wanted to try these so we'll see how it works out you guys rock I'll talk to you soon bye